This video shows how to import LMS sequences from Light O Rama sequences that may not be formatted in the typical string arrangement. So sometimes when we get a sequence, it may be kind of disjointed or spread out everywhere, and we have to do a manual mapping of each individual pixel. So if you do have a sequence that has nice, complete strings, that's great. Those import very quickly, but sometimes that's not always the case. So what we're going to do here is we're starting off with a very common 16 by 50 pixel string mega tree here, 16 strings wide, 50 pixels tall. Uh, they're also referred to as nodes here, in the physical format, but that doesn't mean necessarily that you have to be just nodes. They can be pixels. <clears throat> All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create a sequence. So we'll notice here that we have no sequence right here. So let's go ahead and say new sequence musical sequence. We're going to pick the audio that corresponds with our sequence file. So that's important. Go ahead and select 20 milliseconds, quick start. Great. Now we have a tree. So here's the model and the tr that uh, created our tree. So we see tree, strand, node, and then of course we have multiple strands. We have 16 total strands, so 50 pixels on each strand. Next thing we need to do is import the data. So we're going to go up to import, import effects, now we're going to select the sequence file. This is an LMS file. Note that it says LOR Music Sequences, or LMS, and this is the sequence we're going to import. And it goes ahead and imports it. Now, if you have the option, again, you may have seen some of our other videos that say map to CCR strand. If you could do that, great. If not, this is the case here. We may need to do some manual things. So let's just first take a look at what we got in this sequence here. So within the sequence, we can see we have something called DMX2.1.1. Then we see the same thing, and it says BRG, blue, red, green. Then we see another one. So this is most likely rolled up. So this is the individual uh, channel or pixel. So this is the pixel, and this is the individual channels of blue, red, uh, green, red. And then this is the rolled up pixel. So let's just scroll down here. You can see that it's incremented. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then it starts off down here kind of at the bottom. It says pixel strip 1, 1, 1, 1, B, R, G. So it's, you can see even within this sequence that we've got kind of a flip where the naming strategy has changed. But we can see that this appears to be pixel strip 1. Let's keep looking down here and we can keep going. Okay, so what we see here, see it goes through 50, so that might really must be the case here. So let's stretch this out a little bit. So we have pixel strict 1, and then it has pixels 1 through 50. This is the 50th pixels right here, 49th pixel, and so on. Then it also has some extraneous star data, which in this particular case we're not going to be importing. So let's go over here. So this is what's in our sequence LMS file. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and import that into our model. So we're going to expand the strands, and we have node. Now, again, node refers to pixel. So we're just going to go ahead and select node 1. And the first thing we want to do is import strand 1, or string, or strip, or whatever you may want to call it. And we need to put in pixel number 1. So let's just scroll up here. So here it is. Here then it's pixel 1, then pixel 2. And pixel 3, just scroll down, 4, 5, 6, and I'm just double clicking onto each of these. You can see once it uh, adds it, it goes ahead and takes it off the list so we don't import it again. You'll notice I'm skipping through the individual channels. We're not mapping channels, we're mapping pixels. Now, technically, that might be called an RGB channel with all three channels, but we're, we're mapping over the entire pixel. So you can see that we're importing it all here. And now, what you may want to do, if you're not sure of the format, make sure uh, you want to make sure if this is actually right, maybe just import one string worth and then start, uh, and then just do a test to view in your preview and see if that's right. So let's just pretend we've done all of strand one, and now we're going to do strand two, which in this case started up here. So we're just going to do two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five. And we would just keep doing this, then go to strand three. Okay, so there's string string three, two, three, and so on. 
Okay, once you've imported all that, go ahead and click OK. Now here it's saying you do not want to say exit without saving your your mapping. Now, if this author has done a lot of sequences in this exact same format, great. Go ahead and save this as a mapping. Go ahead and save it. And then in the future, you can just go ahead and say open this mapping, and it'll automatically know all these different names map over to your tree. In this case, maybe it's a one time deal. We're going to say yes, we do want to exit without saving that mapping. So it goes ahead and it imports. And it's still working on it, looks like. Okay, so it's done importing. And you can see now uh, we have imported our data. So let's just see here. Let me expand these out. So here you can see strand two. We imported some data there too. And strand three, we imported some data there too. So you can see that this looks like that data is correct. So that all looks good, and that's how you import a kind of mismatched LMS sequence where data is kind of not in a very nice, clean format.